What's going on, everybody? I know, I know, two videos in one day, but this one, I really need to push out, even though we just pushed out the video with the uh, preview, or actually, I should say, how the computer intelligence works with the grading. Um, really in-depth video. There is a giveaway towards the end of the video, so make sure you guys go watch another video from today, and... Um, Pretty clear in the description how to do the giveaway to and everything, but let's get to this. So somebody hit me up, and I thought it was something with one of my listings that got reported. I'm like, what? So in the chaos of me doing like multiple things, I went and actually opened the email or the email up on eBay, and it showed uh, somebody else's listings. And this is one of those things to where you really need to be careful of what you buy on eBay. Make sure you read the descriptions, okay? Let me pull this up. Pug is under me snoring and sleeping, so you guys might hear her. I'll try to keep her out of it as much as I can. I tried moving her, but uh, she had her uh, ears cleaned out today, so she's a little uh, done for the day. All right, let me pull this up. All right. There were a lot more listings earlier than this on here, guys. A lot more. This one has three hours left. It just says two up. Shows you a nice picture of a card, right? Joe Burrow, rookie. Not too sure why. It's just the back of one, but... And a beautiful CD lamb, all right? Now, I want to show you sold listings. See that Joe Burrow, rookie card? Sold today. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Somebody thinks they're getting that card. Joe Burrow rookie card. Condition is brand new. Shipped with first class rated rookie. You are purchasing. Okay, it's bad English. You are purchasing a picture. Sorry, I didn't rethink this. Of a Joe Burrow rated rookie. And this, I guess, should be not the real card. All right. You're buying a picture. He literally probably took a photograph and you're going to get a photograph in the mail. And they're going to get away with this because it's in the description. So please make sure you guys are reading descriptions. There's a lot of stuff out here like this where the headings are not showing it, especially with all this fake Pokemon slabs going on. It's been on the news and everything. But I, I'm just here to try to make sure everybody makes sure they're aware of this. So I'm going to pull the two up here. So there's a two card right here. Supernova from Obsidian, right? I mean, the descriptions are pretty crappy on this. Or not description of titles, but when you come down here, number 9 out of 25. Oh, there's a number right there just to show you guys. Now check this out. You got to keep scrolling, scrolling. You are purchasing a picture of the item, not the real card. Guys, there's four bids on this. So if you're one of them guys that got a bid on this, go cancel it now. Because you're just going to get a picture he took off the phone. These are, this heat, wait, where'd it go? Look at this, Justin Herbert Black Prism. We'll pull this up. Uh, see original. Suplex no longer works, just so you guys know. I got to take it off. You are buying a picture of this, not the actual card. Possible PSA 10. You can't grade pictures. Guys, please do your homework when you see this stuff. Look at descriptions. If it looks funky, doesn't seem right, it's probably funky. People paid this. They're just making money by taking pictures of other people's cards. And I'm going to go back. This here is on somebody's break site. That's sitting on top of a flawless box. There's the actual picture. So if this belongs to you, I mean, the picture's pretty good out there. He probably just took it either off the uh, Google search or off of eBay. Guys, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but the person that brought this to my attention, thank you. I wanted to get this out there to everybody in case somebody's on his stuff. This is the screen name right here. Actually, we'll pull it up big side here for y'all. Right up here. That's an underscore. 
and I really don't want to try to pronounce the names. It kind of comes out a little bit weird, but um, you guys see what it is and everything. Stay far, far away. At the same time frame, as you guys are looking to snipe auctions last minute, you haven't reviewed them, pay attention. Go in there, like look at stuff and send it in five or ten minutes so you can read the description. I have sat there. I used to be like a big sniper back in the day, and I've been catching a lot of stuff that somewhere along the way, you know, say it's, um, oh, what was the terminology used? It, it just basically means it's not a real card or anything like that. These Pokemon cards, this is no joke. There's Pokemon out there that are somehow in the PSA database and all this stuff that people have, like, it looks 100% real. 100% real out there. And if I can, I'm going to try to find where the guy wrote about it. It wasn't by email or anything like that, so it's going to take me a minute. But it's amazing at how detailed they got into making this fake stuff. This is why I'm saying this stuff here um, that uh, GMG's doing is going to be a big changer by putting somebody's name to that card on the back at the same time frame. Yes, that can be forged and all that. I got it. But you, if say you see something out there in the back that says Extreme Card Breaks on it, okay? If you guys know that's a PC card for me, that would be something like, man, I know him. Hey, man, were you selling this? Did you upgrade or something? And I'll be like, no, why? Well, there's one on eBay right now. We thought it has your thing on the back of it. And I'd be like, nope, fake card out there. You know, it starts helping pe bring people together, whether, you know, you don't know the person or you heard of them and you're like doing a search and checking to see if this was the actual card and stuff. That, that's the kind of stuff we got to go into now because the way the hobby has become, where everybody's out there trying to make money and trying to do it in the such. Okay, so I always said when I was in recruiting, guys, so I was an army recruiter for three years. Don't Don't beat me up on it. They made me do it. You had, like, we call it the white area, the gray area, and the black area, right? So the white area is, like, you're 100% legit. The gray area was stuff where you dipped in was very, very questionable. And we even went to the route where we started shading the graves onto it because of the stuff that they were doing out there. And then you had the black area, which is not a good area at all. So we had to really, you know, be careful out there with what we were doing off the time frame. This here is like where people are treading the gray area. Just so everybody can understand where my terminology is coming from on to this. Is it wrong? Yes. But legally, they're putting it in the description. So, but they're taking photographs of something. One is Panini product. I don't know if they're authorized to do that. Licensing, all that stuff. That, that goes into a different lawyer field and all that. But... That's not their card. They're taking a picture of somebody else's stuff. It's just getting amazing with the stuff out there anymore. It really is to where... I'm not joking. When I go to shows, people are looking at me, and they're thinking I'm looking at the card for grading purposes, and I'm not. I'm looking because there's so much counterfeits going on out there. The first thing that I'm looking at when I'm going through people's cards or looking at them and it's like, man, I need to make sure this is a real card and not something that's, you know, a reprint, forged, or whatever it may be. And I'm sitting there staring at it, and they're like, oh, I probably won't gem 10. I'm like, I'm really not looking at the gem. You know, I'm looking to make sure that it's a good card. And they're like, huh? And it's so amazing. Some of these people don't even know about this stuff. And that purpose of I started doing all this stuff this year was to bring a lot of information forward to share hear different opinions and everything like that onto it and you know try to make it a little bit safer out there at the same time frame give any bit of knowledge that i'm getting in or i've had tucked in for years that i thought you know everybody knows this stuff it's common and i realized during covid a lot of people didn't know this stuff and they came back in and that's where my mentality changed this year to just not really go into too much with, you know, doing breaks and everything like that. But, you know, pulling a lot of information out there and, you know, giving it to everybody to where people could see it, whether it's my opinion based or it's, you know, fact or whatever. Uh, I, I just want to do something, you know, that's, you know, good for the community and for everybody out there that's watching the videos. 
I know a little bit long, but I started going off track again, like always. I'm, I know, I know. I'll have a couple messages about it. <laughs> but guys, be careful of that stuff. I'll try to find that Pokemon thing and post it up with one of the days because I opened up some score football today, uh, Crown Royal basketball, and some Bowman. Uh, I'll try to float that video in if I can find this stuff one day this week. And it'll just be another two video day just so you guys can see this Pokemon stuff. Especially if you're trying to get into that stuff. These slabs just, wow, it just blew my mind hearing this stuff and then seeing the post about it. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all later.